Now at six, remembering Muhammad Ali, the heavyweight champion whose work in the ring and personality captivated the world for decades. He lost his life overnight. Ali promised to shock the world, and he certainly did. It's no wonder he was called the greatest. CBS4 Sports anchor Jim Barry is here now with a look at Ali's illustrious life. Jim. Vanessa, Muhammad Ali admits that he called himself the greatest before he knew that he was. But the more he said it, the more he believed it, and ultimately became it. I am the greatest. In 1942, he was born Cassius Marcellus Clay, a kid from Louisville, Kentucky, who turned to boxing after someone stole his bicycle. By 1964, he was the young, brash heavyweight champion of the world. In an epic fight at the Miami Beach Convention Hall, Clay stunned the boxing world by beating the heavily favored Sonny Liston. The kid with the big mouth made good on his big promise. In those early years, Clay lived in Miami, playing with kids near his Alapata home while training on Miami Beach with the legendary Angelo Dundee. But the fighter himself soon became a legend, thanks to his larger-than-life talent and quick wit. But the fighter also became a lightning rod. He joined the controversial black Muslims and changed his name to Muhammad Ali. When he refused to fight in Vietnam, Ali was stripped of his title and banned from the ring for three years. He used his platform as heavyweight champion of the world to implement social change and a social conscience. He would resume his boxing career and thrill fans with epic battles against the likes of Joe Frazier and George Foreman. Ali would hold the title three times, but his long career took its toll. He developed Parkinson's, a disease that took away his movement and speech. Nevertheless, he remained an icon. In his final public appearance in Miami, Ali helped christen the Marlins' new ballpark. Although his frail appearance made fans uncomfortable and prompted criticism of the team. Muhammad Ali will be remembered as one of the world's most famous athletes and revered social figures. He was a king who never lost his common touch. They're once in a lifetime people and they, they are stars in our galaxy. Muhammad Ali became a hero and then an icon. Why? Because he was authentic. In many ways, Ali was ahead of his time, but the times didn't change him. It was Ali who changed the times. Vanessa. My favorite quote, don't count the days, make the days count. Mm -hmm. yep. He has a lot of memorable moments. So what is the most memorable for you? Any moments that you met him or influenced your life? You know what? Well, he certainly, I think, inspired me in many, in many ways to become a sportscaster. When I saw this larger than life personality, I'm thinking, wow, what a great thing it would be to have an opportunity to work in a business where I could meet people like that. And I did meet him at the NBA All-Star Game here in Miami. He had twin daughters who once worked for the Miami Heat. And I sat right next to him and I said, Champ, your daughters are beautiful. And he looked at me and he said, Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm he was, sure the champ, he didn't need words for that he, one. <laughs> he, he, he didn't. Uh, he struggled a little bit with his speech even right. then, but he was so disarming and charming. And uh, it's a moment I'll never forget. Absolutely. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Jim. We appreciate thank it. You.